Hi guys, welcome to a video and in today's video I just wanted to discuss the differences between the way that gay media is received and supported and the way that lesbian media is received and supported because this is a topic that I see people talking about a lot and I think it's a really interesting one that I've also thought a lot about myself so I thought I would add my two cents to the conversation. No one asked, okay. As a huge disclaimer, this video is not about pitting gay and lesbian productions up against each other, it's not about shaming people for their preferences in what they like to watch, in what they like to read. It's a conversation about the different levels of support that gay and lesbian media receive, why that is and how it impacts those types of productions. So first of all, a common misconception that I see all the time is that lesbian media and lesbians are favoured by general audiences over gay media and gay men. And it's absolutely not true. It's not. I think this misconception stems largely from the fact that there is historically and presently in some parts of the world a fear and hatred of gay men that doesn't extend to lesbians in the same way. Sometimes it does, but it's not as prevalent and we see this reflected in things things such as laws pertaining to homosexuality, hate crimes and so on, therefore giving the impression that lesbianism is more acceptable, it's more digestible, when in reality it's actually a case of female sexuality being rendered invisible or insignificant when there's no male involved. And then you have the added element of the hypersexualization of lesbianism in the adult film industry, where lesbianism is distorted and curated to specifically appeal to men and therefore is seen as something that's beneficial to men and relates it to their sexuality. But neither of these things are lesbianism being supported or favoured by the general population. It's rather that lesbianism is dismissed completely or distorted and hypersexualized in order to be beneficial to men. That's quite different. Now, when it comes to gay and lesbian media, whilst it may be true that, as far as I can see, there's slightly more lesbian visibility in media and slightly more lesbian content produced overall, as I said earlier, it's not true that people favour lesbian content. Gay male content is actually far more financially successful and generates far more support from general audiences audiences than lesbian content. If you look at the amount of profit that gay male cinematic productions generate in comparison to the amount of profit lesbian cinematic productions generate, the difference is stark. And this paints quite a clear picture that in fact people are far more interested and invested in gay male content than they are lesbian content and that's backed up with where they're spending their money. But why is this the case? Well, it's no secret that Hollywood and the film industry is heavily male dominated and of course this has an impact on things such as funding, content production and the quality of those productions. But really the main reason for the success of gay male cinematic productions over that of lesbian cinematic productions is that our society definitely has a bias towards towards men. It's more focused on men and their stories and their relationships and gay male cinematic productions simply benefit from that. But, and here's where this topic starts to get very layered. Outside of cinema, the kinds of gay male productions that do well, such as literature and TV shows, is often content that is A, created by women and B, appealing to a majority female audience. Yaoi is a huge example of this. The readership for Yaoi is a majority female 
female one and a lot of the works are also created by women. And of course there are also a number of other successful gay literary series. One huge example being Heartstoppers which is also created by a woman and its main readership is also a majority female one. In terms of TV shows you have series such as Young Royals. So we're beginning to see a bit of a pattern here almost. What's interesting about this branch of gay male content is that they portray gay men and gay male romance imagined through a female lens. And this imagined ideal of gay men and their romances with one another is created and packaged to be consumed and enjoyed largely by other women. And this brings us to the question of why gay male content is so popular with women. Well in my opinion there's a few reasons. Firstly most women, obviously not all, but most, are primarily romantically attracted to men. So romances between two men have twice the appeal and there's the added bonus of no female competition in these romances. Secondly it's women consuming a distorted image of men imagined through a female lens. It makes sense that this imagined ideal would resonate with other women. And thirdly, a lot of women, again not all, but I've noticed a lot, love to fawn over men and infantilize them, particularly if these men are appealing in a romantic sense, particularly if they're attractive, right? And really this interest in men and their relationships with one another from women is not limited to gay male productions. If you look at some of the biggest, most successful franchises, the Marvel Universe, Harry Potter, Supernatural and Sherlock, just to name a few, all of which predominantly centre themselves around men, right? You'll find in these fandoms most of the romantic shipping and fan fiction will revolve around two male characters, whether those characters are gay or straight. So as we can see, the reason that gay male productions are more popular and generate more profit in comparison to lesbian productions is that A, they benefit from a society which has a general preference for men, and B, they are appealing to heterosexual women or women who are primarily romantically interested in men. And those women make up a significant portion of the overall population. So that's a lot of support, financial and otherwise, going towards gay male productions. But funnily enough, and, and we're, we're deep down in the rabbit hole now. This preference for men and the appeal of gay male relationships from women actually lines the pockets of female creators. So in a very kind of roundabout way, women somehow do benefit from this. And I'm not going to dive into the ethics of women capitalising upon gay male identity and relationships because this video is already very long and we just, we'd be here for hours, but that is a whole other conversation which I'll, I'll have with you guys in another video. But yes, that's also an interesting element to the topic at hand. Now, you might think, given all of that, when it comes to lesbian productions, wouldn't the reverse apply with men supporting lesbian content, given that most men are primarily romantically interested in women? Oh no, no no, because men talking in broad strokes, hashtag not all men, mm, are not interested in media about women, let alone lesbians, outside of a hypersexualized interest. And this is mostly the result of being raised in a patriarchal society where men are deemed to be more interesting, more relatable. There's no shame involved in having an interest in men and their lives, their stories, the way that they relate to each other. 
And it seems to me that most men do receive messaging from a very young age that to take interest in anything that's related to or associated with girls is shameful. And of course that stays with them throughout their lives. So having interest in women outside of a hypersexualized one as an adult is emasculating and shameful. And of course there's the added misogyny of women just aren't that interesting. You know, they're less than. So for the most part, there's a lack of interest in things such as women's literature, literature about women, TV shows that center around female characters and cinematic productions which center around female characters. And that lack of interest extends to lesbian productions. Of course there's an interest in the distorted depiction of lesbianism in the adult film industry, which much in the same way that a lot of gay male content is created and produced by women for other women. In broad strokes, the adult film industry is largely created and produced by men for men. And both of these are distorted fantasies and depictions of homosexuality which are removed from reality. And if you contrast the way that women are shown through a male lens and the way that men are shown through a female lens, there's a huge difference in the way that the opposite sex imagines and consumes each other, right? It's it's a little bit disturbing. It's it's a little bit disturbing. It's it's very disturbing. It is. And as a side note, very grateful to be blessed with the gift of homosexuality. I sound like something from the X-Men, but it's, I have a crush on Storm. I, it's the drama of, of controlling the weather. Okay, okay. But yes, in terms of lesbian content, you can see it has neither the support of the majority of men or the majority of women. And that definitely contributes to its lack of success in comparison to gay male productions a lot of the time. There are exceptions to a lot of what I've talked about in this video, of course. I know heterosexual women who genuinely take an interest in lesbian content. I know that firsthand, I, I do. And there are heterosexual men who take an interest in gay male content and lesbian content to expand their worldview for various other reasons, but they are in the minority. And essentially what it comes down to is that obviously affects the kind of profit that lesbian content generates, which contributes to the lack of funding for future lesbian productions. And I'd just like to reiterate, this video was not meant to shame anybody for the type of media that they like to consume, but I think this topic is an interesting conversation and I think it's important to understand that there is a difference in the way that gay media media and lesbian media is received and supported, why that is and how it impacts those types of productions. So there you go, those are my thoughts on this topic. I'm interested to read what you guys think about this down in the comments section below. Oh god, it could get spicy. It could get spicy. <laughs> And as an awkward side note, it, if you want to support lesbian content and women's voices, that does look like I'm smoking a J, but I I don't, and no judgment to anyone who does, because life be stressful, it, it'd be stressful. Mm. Come and join the Sapphic Underground Club, just come and join it, it's pretty much just, just a monthly tip. Just a monthly tip for the gay jester who sits before you and gives you entertainment you didn't ask for. That's, that's how it is. Yeah, not the best saleswoman or advocate for myself, but I am gay and learning all the time. Okay, okay. Don't forget to subscribe for instant disappointment and I'll see you guys soon. Oh, it was, it was, there was a wink. I get you. Bye.